You know who'd be a good spokesperson for the Chamber of Commerce would be Ben. That's right. You know, <laughs> he, he loves the state and just and popular guy. Oh, he's tons of fun to interview. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So what do you want to know? Um, how much are you liking your new vehicle, Alf off -road? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You haven't worn off the new car smell yet, right? No. Okay. In fact, I, I got out. I said, shoot, I should have vacuumed this thing because mm. we were at the Bogus Basin last evening. Got little dirt pebbles in there. Mm. You know? oh, so no. want to keep it nice and clean. Yes. Yeah. But it was fun. Okay, so folks, the question is, are we going to see a white Christmas? And oh. the answer to that is probably not. Mm. Uh, but the pattern looks like it wants to turn a little more active here just after Christmas. But we did get a little bit of snow. And as you could tell right now from that time lapse video, that is the live image up there at Sun Valley. There are still a few snow flurries up around some of the mountains. But here's what you can expect to see. Sunny skies and chilly conditions are in the forecast for us tomorrow. There might be a little patchy fog around parts of the Treasure Valley in the morning. And then some clouds are expected on Friday with the possibility that we may see a couple of flurries late Friday night into early Saturday morning. Shouldn't be a big deal. Overall, it's going to be dry. It's going to be cold on Christmas. Then the next storm comes in here right around Tuesday. And if the flow of the pattern looks right, we might be set up for a little more moisture coming back into the region, which would be beneficial. But for right now, I don't see any big inversions or anything like that. Absolutely beautiful evening as the skies are beginning to clear out. We still have some of those clouds just kind of hanging around, as you can tell from our diamond heating and cooling cam. And here's a future cast. Let's see what happens through the day tomorrow. There you can see the weak area of high pressure. Generally very nice. Lots of sunshine. Beautiful weather expected tomorrow. Then, as I mentioned, a few more clouds on Friday. This is a weak front. This is primarily going to be an Arctic front that's going to be blasting through the area. It may generate some showers up here in the mountains, but I'm anticipating increasing clouds on Friday. And then it should begin to clear out in time for the weekend. But that front is going to help to reinforce some chilly air in place on Saturday and Sunday as well. Temperatures right now 38 degrees. The wind is out of the northwest at about 18 miles per hour. There goes our current storm as it's racing out into the Great Basin. Behind it, little area of high pressure is what's going to give us lots of sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. So nice and dry, but a bit chilly. Then watch what happens on Friday as the jet stream allows one more fast moving little cold front. That's that Arctic front I was just showing you. It just kind of brushes by the area on Friday. Maybe some mountain snow showers, maybe a flurry here in the valley late Friday, early Saturday morning. But again, it shouldn't amount to a whole heck of a lot. And overall, temperature readings are going to stay close to the freezing mark or just slightly above. So I'd say near normal temperature readings are expected here through the upcoming holiday weekend. So part of cloudy skies out in the uh, Camas Prairie in the Long Valley. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Chilly up at McCall and Cascade with highs in the 20s. We're going to be seeing maybe some patchy fog around the lower Treasure Valley and around parts of the valley. But overall, those temperatures are pretty par for the course. Nampa at about 34, Cuna about 35, and Boise right around 36 degrees. So here's the seven day forecast. Again, mostly cloudy skies on Friday as that front brushes by from the north. And then generally dry conditions on Saturday and Sunday. Could be some flurries early, early Saturday morning. But we will see sunshine on Saturday. Sunday looks nice. And then here comes that next storm. It might generate some showers late Christmas night and maybe some snow in the forecast for us on Tuesday if indeed that next storm materializes. That's going to be the next weather maker we're going to be watching in the days to come is that Tuesday storm. That's good. Yeah, yeah we'll take yeah. it. All right. Better well, than inversion. Yeah. yeah it's much